Yo, Imran, where you at, bruh? Yo. The boss is here. Look at you, man. You always calmed up, innit? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to look after you, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going yeah. on? You good? Good, man. I'm good. So what are you here to do today? I'm here to... You know what I'm from, here for, Imran. From the, uh, the BMW Z4 Upra. You're going to violate it like Zupra. that already? It is a Zupra. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. I think um, we should try to stick to... It's a decent to... car. Man, this car looks amazing. Really, really nice. So how have you been actually? I've been really good. Through? I've been really busy. Uh, last three months of last year, I've been away 40 days. 40 days? Yeah, so we had SEMA, then we had SN Motor Show, then I had Tokyo Auto Salon. And then yeah, I had to right. go to my friend's wedding in Thailand as well. Right. So I've just been away, mostly work. And this is so obviously you've got even Chewy, you've got... Yeah, well, it's mainly travelling around, visiting distributors and mm. stuff like that. And I've been really busy on a new project, which I'll talk to you about later on. Yeah, we'll discuss that in the car. Okay, yeah. so yeah, you've been busy. I've seen you. Yeah. You've been all over Madness. social media, man. <laughs> Madness. Yeah, it's man. It's all good. Though. Superstar Imran now, man. Trust me. No, Ricky's a real Im superstar. Trust me, Imran forgot MPD about right me, there. you know. Man's I forgot about me. Trust Ricky. me. <laughs> <laughs> I phone Ricky, you know. He doesn't pick the phone up anymore. Nah, nah, nah. Just nah. goes for missed call. Nah, then, like, nah. he remembers three days later. I'm here, bro. Like, who's this guy? All right, so Imran, Twitter Super. Yes. Uh, what's going on? So it's got some crazy rap on it. Uh, yeah, so this car was it's an Eventury demo car, uh, which we built for SN Motor Show, and also we used it to develop the Eventury intake kit. Mm -hmm. So the wrap is designed by a guy in America called Skeppel. He's a really well-known guy. He designed some really crazy wraps. Yeah. And then it was printed and wrapped by Wrap It uh, just up the road from us, a guy okay. called Dom. Done a really good job on that. Literally, we had like three days to get it ready for Essen and everyone yeah, just like pulled together and yeah. just knocked it out. And my mate Ish from Quattro Coach Wax did all of the, uh, like the calipers. Then we've got some 660 design wheels, which I designed personally mm -hmm. on these. So I modeled them off like the Alpha wheel. Yeah. So it's like a cross between an Alpha oh, right. yeah, yeah. and a Lambo wheel. So they're yeah. uh, forged 19 inch, so same size as stock. Yeah. Uh, we've only got H&R springs on it at the moment because the car was so new, there was nothing available at the mm -hmm. time. Uh, full super sprint exhaust, uh, still got the downpipe in it at the moment. So we're only running stage one map mm -hmm. uh, and Evolve, the intake, yeah. evolved map, yeah. yeah. So we're just waiting now for, till we get some time. I'm back now, so no traveling for 11 weeks. Yeah. So we can do some like tuning development yeah. on this Well, the, the super is kind of taken the market by storm, isn't it? Everybody's in it's one of these, right? Well, America really more, would you say? America, definitely. So we went to SEMA, there was over 50 supers there. Seriously? Yeah, and there was at least 25 of them were wide bodies. Mm. And there must be at least 10 wide body kits out there already. Mm. So it's amazing the speed at which the Supra came out and all these kits were out mm. already. Uh, one of the kits was even 3D printed. So they Seriously? didn't have time to make it wow. fully. It was 3D printed and then painted mm. and put on the car. Wow. Yeah. So um, Imran, for people that are unaware, it's running the B58 and is yeah. it the 8-speed ZF? Yeah, 8-speed like ZF. And it's the up rated version of the b58 so they do the one in the m140i mm. and then they do a newer one which is also in the z4 right and is it's it upgraded it's fuel pump as well isn't yeah it? so it's, it's got upgraded fuel pump and the rumors are that toyota actually specced that fuel pump but okay. we don't know the rumors are that basically bmw gave the b58 engine to toyota mm -hmm. and then toyota 
said these are the bits that we want to change right. and, and that's how that came about but wow. I, I don't know the ins but it's funny because before the Supra was even a thing everyone used to say the 335i the M54 was the modern day Supra right yeah so it's a coincidence that they used the B58 now yeah it is it's definitely crazy. I mean the B58 is an amazing engine it's yeah. probably one of the most reliable and tunable engine BMW yeah. Yeah. has made in America so, they're going silly uh, yeah. with the Supra isn't they yeah really crazy and um, okay, so they're 340 horsepower in stock form. Yep. Uh, what is it like? 370 Newton meters or something similar to that. And uh, you're saying this is running a stage one tune. You've stage one tune, wheels. full exhaust, lightweight wheels, and the intake. So it's running around about 400 horsepower mm. at the moment. But literally, we've only done 1400 miles in it. Yeah. Had it for like six, seven months. Mm. And most of that mileage is just driving to Essen and back. Just okay. not had time to. Mm. to do anything with it and we took it to Santa Pod once before the running service yeah yeah I was there I? I was <laughs> yeah there. you were there yeah. that day yeah <laughs> so uh, what's the plans moving forward with this car then Imran? so moving forward we've got a carbon roof coming from our friends at IND oh, wow. so we're going to rip the roof off and replace that with a carbon roof like we did on the M2 sweet and I'm going to design my own aero for this so that's the project I was talking to you about yeah so we're going to custom design a whole body kit for the car and then tuning wise we're going to go stage two and then go hybrid turbo all right. and then tune it for that but that's as far as we're going to go on, okay. on this project because we're not planning on keeping it for, right. for that long so do you not see the super as like a car for the future that obviously you're, i know we've it is b58 is BM. but yeah it is but i think there's so many people jumping onto mm. this platform yeah. that it's not something that i want to kind of join okay. the race for if that I makes understand. sense yeah, yeah i understand okay um all right imran uh, let's have a little look in the interior yeah. actually i haven't actually looked up close so yeah. So if you jump in, it will look quite familiar to you. Yeah, it's very BMW, isn't it? Very BMW. Yeah, interesting. Really nice, beautiful though, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. The materials nice are really nice. Yeah. So it's obviously, is this the actual same cabin as the Z4? Or? Yes. It is? Yeah, because we had a Z4 oh, uh, for a couple of months before we bought this to okay. give us a head start on the intake yeah. development. And it, the interior is the same apart from like the dash graphics space. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, LED screen, that looks really nice. Uh, Alright Imran, yeah, nice. Should we jump out and take it for a spin? Yep, let's go. Yeah, let's do it man. <laughs> Let's go Imran. Let's go. Hey guys, next level setup right now, trust me. Uh, handbrake, handbrake. handbrake. Sorry, bruh. Have you got driving? You know what? I've never no, actually seen your driving license. I've got one bro. in one, I swear to God. <laughs> no one even knows. <laughs> All these people let you drive their cars. You don't no, even I'm have a driving you. license. I've got no license. Jeez. Wow, the wheel feels nice, doesn't it? Nice yes, and thin. You can wrap right really around nice that car, boy. You know? So, and this is basically Z4? Yes, we had a Z4 for three months beforehand. It's very similar, but obviously because this is hard top, the driving dynamics are a lot better. Mm. And what I will say is that I think this, this I have tuned the suspension. The way this car handles is a lot better than okay. the Z4, much Adaptive more comfortable. Adaptive suspension, right? Yeah. And you've got the heads-up display. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it is feeling like a BM right now, isn't it? I did try and say to myself on the way that I'm not going to talk about a BMW. <laughs> but, but underneath... There's a lot of BMW parts, isn't there? Yeah. Like, not just the engine. There's, there's lots and lots of parts. There's like they, BMW they even have BMW, and BMW stamped right? on them, yeah. I'm liking the proportions, though. Look it's how a... flat that roof line yeah, is. Yeah, it right? feels like a sports car. It does. It's got the double bubble roof. Yep. So when you go on track, you can have your helmet on. You've got plenty of space. Mm. Nice carbon here. Boy, it's beautiful in here. What a nice place to be. Yep. One weird thing they've done is, see back here, there's no separator between the boot. Okay. It's just open. What would this be like rated at then with a the stage one roughly? Uh, around 400. What are the different models you can buy this? Because there's like a base and then there's like a premium and then there's a pro. I this is know. a pro. You know what I'm like when I'm buying cars. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah. We just needed a super for the <laughs> car, so we bought one. And then they sent me an email and said, do you want a pro edition? I'm like, yeah. Got a long bonnet, boy. You know what? The steering feels really nice. Man, you got the paddles behind the steering wheel. What are you thinking about the, the B58? I think it's a really good engine. Around. It's very tunable. Obviously, this car came with a OPF, so we've taken that off now. Okay. Uh, the cat's still in there. So this is a very mild state tune because we're still basically going through our development okay. on it. I need to spend a bit more time on it, but there's no reason why we can't get um, as much, if not more, power out of these than we're getting out of the M140s because we're doing 440 horsepower out of those with just the stage ones. So is this in its normal mode right now? This is in sport mode. This is sport, yeah? yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it feels sharp, doesn't it? Yeah. Very flat. And it was a 50-50 weight ratio. 
Uh, and they're about, I think I was reading about 1,500 to 1,500 Yeah, that sounds about kilos. right. Yeah. They say that this car wasn't um, designed like for numbers or lap times. It was more about it's driving. driving. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's what it experience. is, yeah. Let's give it a little second gear. Tons of torque, innit? And you've got the eight gear, so you've just got power everywhere, right? Yeah, the ratios yeah. are really short. So that's what I love about this eight speed. This is Sydney wants to race us, Imran. <laughs> oh, sorry, Might Imran, be undercover. Yeah, yeah, Imran can't race no more. He's got a very high profile on social media now. Yeah, you've been on a I mad one, Imran. It's been busy. Out it's there, been bro. really busy. Wait, I'll see everywhere. you on the BMW page. Uh, yeah, so we're Part doing Lane. some stuff with BMW Park Lane as well now. So yeah. head over to their channel. So I'm doing some reviews for them on their channel. Yeah, Park Lane, yeah. boy. Levels. Yeah, guys, one of them cars, like, no matter which gear you're in, um, yeah, it just shoots off. Similar to your F90, isn't it? How many gears has the F90 got? The same. Eight gears? Eight gears, yeah. yeah. Really quick gear shifts. It does feel surprisingly, like, a tiny bit softer than I would have thought. It doesn't feel razor sharp, does no. it? No, it's, it's not a GT car. Yeah, It's definitely. not quite a sports sports car. Yeah, I would class yeah. it as, like, a, a sporty GT. Hmm. So how did the Z4 drive? when you compared it, because that's kind of what this is, isn't it? Like Yeah, I mean, the, the Z4 was very similar, but because it was convertible, and I think the suspension was like almost too stiff. Does that make sense? Right. This is much better damp, so you can drive this faster over B-roads, Yeah, because the damping is a lot better on it. But as I said, right now, we've only got a set of H&R springs for optics on the stock dampers. We will yeah. do a proper suspension solution. Yeah, guys, I mean, what could I say so far? I mean, it's definitely very comfortable. It feels very flat. Visually, with my eyes, it's beautiful. Like. Was that a leather dash or is it just one of those no, kind of leather those looks? No, it's one of leather looks, but it looks quite, yeah. it looks nice. It's not, really nice. it doesn't look cheap. And I like uh, the width of this wheel, man. It's nice and thin. You can really wrap your hands around it. But that bonnet is quite long. I'm not sure if I'm just in the wrong driving position. You're saying well. really low, but yeah, you have to get used to it. So I think this is more of a car that you kind of daily, and then if you do the occasional kind of spirited drive on a B road or mm. possibly track, you can do that. Because I drove this car on track before it came out yeah. at Thruxton because Toyota, uh, invited us to come down there right and it was it was actually pretty good at Thruxton and the brakes were even awesome and they said the cars were completely standard I know that you're saying this is a pro version but do you reckon there, there'll probably be more versions won't there of the Supra yeah in because the future, possibly, I like. think so because they're doing that crazy Tier Yaris GR yes, I don't yes, know if you've seen yeah, it so have, we, put, yeah. we put an order in for one of those oh have you turn nice and yeah sorry sorry <laughs> <laughs> but you can hear the imagery as well can't you yeah I love it on my M4 as well, man, like with the quieter exhaust now. So we've had this independently dyno tested uh, on IND's car yeah. at AMS in Chicago, and the intake made uh, between uh, 12 and 18 horsepower and about 15 to 18 foot pound of torque. Wow. On with their, nothing, on their, no, mods. no, their stage two car. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. A lot of the modern cars, um, you, when you put an intake on them, they won't work unless the car's tuned because the manufacturer controls how much the torque has in the ECU yeah so they won't let it make any more power okay so then the car has to be tuned not specifically for the intake but has to be already tuned so it can make more power when you put mods on no. there what man I want to curb him what was the one no <laughs> <laughs> it's like the label of the throttle isn't it yeah again it's not razor sharp Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put it back on. Yeah, no. Guys, see what I'm trying to do for you, though? <laughs> Bringing me these headaches. This is why I ain't done the wireless mic thing, because it's they just like up. right now, it just, <laughs> yes. I feel like I'm strapped into the car. The brakes are good. But yeah, it feels very soft and yeah, definitely not like on edge, man. It's not that I was expecting it to be like an M car, for example. Yeah. But It's yeah. definitely not an M. It would be equivalent of an M light. Definitely, you know, like yeah. an M140, maybe a little 240, bit, a yeah. little bit better, yeah, really, like, yeah, definitely, better quality. definitely better handling than one of those, yeah. even out of the box because of yeah. the stiffer chassis and it is slightly more sporty. But coming back to the point where you were talking about whether they're going to do a sporty version of this, yeah. they are doing that Yaris GR, so I do believe they will eventually do uh, a Supra GR, which will be the sporty one. But isn't that one. what this is? Is this a GR Supra? Yeah, but they'll do like a sportier, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. sportier version, whatever they call it. Yeah, GR is like a, I think it's like some Gazoo Racing. Gazoo Racing. Yeah. Yes. So I think they'll do a sportier version of this, and rumour has it they might stick the S58 in it. Wow. On the X3M and the M4. They do that, they'll man. go straight in. That'll be amazing. Same gearbox and it'll fit oh, in there. Okay, so yeah, it's going to use the Z8 speed. Yeah, I mean, I suppose Toyota. Why wouldn't they? Or maybe someone should do that first. 
Yeah, maybe you. Maybe you can find me an S58. <laughs> <laughs> Go chat to the TR Hamza. <laughs> 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 Yo, Hamza, That's man. Nah, Sorry, Hamza, Hamza. Yeah, yeah, Hamza. Um, Hamza's good now. Hamza's good, man. Yeah, glad you made a recovery, bro. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. like to see that on anyone. Yeah, a bit of a mad one. And it's funny, actually, talking about that. Now, sorry, it's not funny, but um, what was I watching the other day? I was watching Joe in the M8 on track. And I was watching, obviously, the fact that it's a four wheel drive car, but I was look, watching how rear biased yeah, it was. Yeah, it's still very rear biased. Yeah, like, and uh, this is what. The point is of even that crash, that TR Hamza, sorry like, uh, to, to be mentioning it, Hamza, if you're watching, but um, that's what a lot of people don't understand, like, you know, these new four-wheel drive BMs and, like, the four-wheel drive Porsche uh, turbos and even the GTRs, they are very rear mm. BIOS, do you know what I mean? And when you're talking, like, you know, close to the 500 horsepower mark, they can snap from the rear, man. I've never seen new cars get written off as much as the X3M. So because people were just getting them and they're caught out by them. And that's because you can't drive them like a Golf no, R. No, you when you can't. drive a Golf R, right, you can Makes honestly, you feel invincible, right? <laughs> yeah, they will not stop understeering. Yeah. If you go into a corner at like 100 miles per hour, the back would eventually swing out. Yeah. But it will always want to understeer. That's built in, the safety for built in, but yeah. the thing with even the X3M is yeah. it's an SUV and it has a lot of weight, so if you like start losing it, the momentum will just yeah. carry you and, the, yeah. and the, the car won't save you. But as I say, like watching Joe on track, you can see that back end coming out every corner, which is cool, but it just shows that you can't treat it like a normal car. You have drive to treat car. it with respect, you can't drive yeah. it like a quattro. <laughs> I need to be a bit respectful with this even. Yeah, it's a bit damp as well today. But remember, this is completely rear wheel drive. Yeah. <laughs> what's fuel like? Is it any good? Like, obviously You're asking me what the fuel looks like. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I just put petrol Man in. just whips out the car, doesn't it? And what does it come with? Like a three year warranty? Four, five uh, year warranty? It's got a sticker on the back that says five year warranty, but we've just left oh, it on there for jokes and giggles. <laughs> yeah. It's quite obviously we do not have a warranty anymore. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look, guys, I'm just driving it one handed now. It is like one of them easy cars to drive, but it does have a reasonable amount of force. You do kind of need to concentrate. So what else Imran, bruv? Busy doing business, so. Everyone uh, just sees professional Imran. Let loose in it, bro. Let what loose. did you eat last night? I ate salmon last night. Salmon, Teriyaki yeah? sauce, yeah, there you go. Yeah. You train, you still training? Because I know I started been again, all, all so because I was uh, really busy, like traveling and stuff like that. Kind of, I could, couldn't train. You know what it's like when you're not in a routine, you can't train yeah. properly. So I started again uh, on Saturday. Okay. So I've got a solid 11 weeks of not training. Uh, right. Sorry, not travelling now. Mm. So I can concentrate on my training. So I wanted what to be. Are you trying to get them abs, yeah? Yeah, basically. Need yeah. a six pack. Yeah, man. Same here, bro. <laughs> they're coming. They're coming. <laughs> they ain't coming. They ain't coming. <laughs> we like our food too much. Man. <laughs> Trust me, coming. Oh. Man, what an engine sound. And uh, sorry, you say it's been lowered as well. Yeah, just on H&R Springs at the moment. Um, well, I wonder what the M240s weigh and the M140s. You would expect this to be lighter, right? Yeah. You would expect because it's two seater. I'm gonna go flying out this door in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels good, uh, man. Like yeah. it's so low down. It's well balanced. Yeah, it's very really well balanced. But well, look at that. You can feel yeah. it a little. Yeah, brakes are on point, nice and sure. Yeah, it feels like a very expensive car. You know that, and they are bloody expensive. Yeah, it's not cheap. Uh, I think it was fifty-seven. Just seeing it now, it was just like has reminded me that I should actually drive this a little bit more, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think you should, Imran. Man, how many cars like, oh, you got? You got the M5, fucking oh, M2, M2, M3, M3, M3 M5, Mini, E39 M5, uh, the RS3 as well. Uh, that's that's a hot point. <laughs> He's dropped it again. <laughs> so, um, your new venture, what's, what's going on with that? Oh, so, carbon. Yeah. Carbon Aero, so it's something I've been wanting to do for ages because I really enjoyed the like the design and aesthetic side of things. Yeah. So I've designed a kit for the F80 M3 and F82 M4. Mm -hmm. So we designed, so we 3D scanned the cars, we designed everything in CAD, and we 3D printed everything. So we, we can test fit it. Uh, we have got a few more tweaks to make, and then we're going to have that made in carbon fiber. That range is going to be launching in um, April. I'm a glorified uh, mic holder now. <laughs> You spend like 10 minutes with Ricky and you just get demoted in life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, well, 
look, man, thank you for uh, the little drive. I mean, My pleasure, man. You're welcome anytime. You know that. Yeah, man. It was nice to get a little feel of what it's like. Very, very nice car. I could definitely see myself owning something like this. Uh, build quality is excellent. It's very fast. Obviously, it's uh, running one of your Evolve tunes. Yeah, I'd love to get out on the track, man. Uh, yeah, maybe when we change the suspension over, we can get into the track. Yeah, but yeah. My track, it? Down in uh, Slough. Slough, yeah? Slough, yeah. 25 <laughs> Alright, well, look, I'm going to end the video there. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, if you're not following everyone already, uh, do you want to plug your Yeah, so one? the YouTube channel is Evolve Automotive, all one word, um, as is the Instagram for the company. And my Instagram is imran.evolve. Cool. Take it easy, guys. Okay, guys. Peace. Bye. <laughs>